Okay, so I just wanted to turn my camera around and video journal the way here that I'm going. So this is basically just part two of that second video. Or I mean that first video that I just uh, recorded. So here we go, we're going down this big hill, around this bend. And again, I went on the ATV. It was so fun. Um, this is such a wonderful path. Um, and uh, I've never bathed in a lake before. And it was really, really, really invigorating. The water's cool, but you get used to it after swimming in it for a while. And it's, um, we're just very, very, very spiritual land out here. This is a steep hill. <laughs> As you can see, I'm uh, dressed in a skirt, which is what the women wear here during ceremony. And uh, that is symbolic of this circle. And a lot of different things that I had teachings on while I'm here, which I won't get into because it's so much and I still have to process it all. But nevertheless, we are here on the land. And so we just keep going this way. There's a beach right there. Um, this is probably where I will do my thing. But I also wanted to show you all the rocks so we're gonna go there first um, again there's a lot of tracks out here um, footprints usually deer or uh, you know cows a lot of cows there's cow patties everywhere never knew that North Dakota would be so beautiful. I'm sure it's pretty harsh in the winter time because I've heard the stories, but it's gorgeous in the summer. So we just cut around this bend. No, we don't. We go straight through this path. And uh, this is also Tick City. <laughs> so I'm going to lift my skirt up because they'd love to latch on to the skirt. So I'm going to hike up my skirt here and walk through this Tick path. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure is cool. I have tick repellent on, but I think I put it on earlier today. And it's probably worn off by now. I will post some of the ATV videos, but I will warn you, they are quite rough. I wasn't uh, able to do a recording that was very smooth because I don't have a GoPro. Let's see, check my legs for ticks. They really sneak up on you. I got a boo-boo there. Nobody's out here. This is probably a good little bathing area. Basically what I do is I just have my bathing suit on and, uh, whoops, drop my, my, uh, hair bandana. It's good to have a bandana on or a hat because the sun is pretty vicious out here. So, yeah, we have sand here and some of these small stones, but going through a little bit longer this way. You will see what I'm talking about here. 
Um, there's a lot of cool rocks out here. Uh, like I said, this place is a gold mine for geology, stones and terrain. I mean, this place, I mean, there is definitely a museum out here. I haven't been to it, but it's um, just full of dinosaur bone, bones. In the airport, there was even a dinosaur bone, a dinosaur uh, structure for remains. water. I saw some um that's a cool stone. See that crystal in there? It's there's so much of that here. So there's a lot of what are you to call them geomes. I'm gonna look up uh when we take something from the earth we offer something back, so my teachings are to put some tobacco down. Anything you take, you have to give back. So I will offer some tobacco for any stones I collect. Uh, it's very important because the story goes is if you don't, it'll come back and bite you in the ass. So I don't have a tobacco pack, but I do have a pack of cigarettes. Um, just put a little tobacco down. Say a prayer. Giving thanks and honoring honoring this culture. This is not my land. It's their land and you know, taking stuff from it is a little disrespectful if you don't put back tobacco and I think that's all they ask for is just to put a little tobacco down. So I'm going to pause here and uh, kind of walk up so you can see the rocks. Okay, so I'm coming up on this big uh, cliff. So a couple of things, Just a couple of observations. Um, I know very little about geology. Let me just say that up front, but These are just my observations. So you have here the beach. So what I gathered is that um, this lake was filled by the dam and by man and it probably knocked down some of the land here and scraped it away so not so much this area but if you notice the other area okay yeah there's a lot of rocks over there as we go forward um, but like I paused it because I wanted to go up farther, but like, there's a t like this place is full of uh, fossils, and like this is definitely something. Um, I don't know, but it is got crystallization right here, and uh, look at this layers here. That's definitely a beautiful sedimentary, <laughs> or uh, excuse me, metamorphic, no, metamorphic stone. Um, on the inside, on the outside, metamorphic stone for sure. And um, I just passed like a ton of fossils. I mean, even you can tell like on everything, it's just all fossilized. So. So again, o o over there is where I really want to show you. But look at that stone. That is so cool. Like this amber or something. It's like a dark, looks like a petrified earwax from a dinosaur or something. But <laughs> like, look at this. This is like petrified something wood or calcite or I don't know. 
but it's uh, chalky. Um, so let me pause here and get up to something else. But you know, you have all kinds of variations of stones. Like I think that's even granite right there. There's not a lot of granite. So, okay, let's move forward. I might unpause and show you some fossils if I find them along the way. Okay, so like, check this out. Excuse me. It was just absolutely gorgeous. everything this is uh clay water and there is like if you uh the ground is clay so some of this is uh clay that is turned into stone it's all the different stones here absolutely incredible out here i mean it is a gold mine for geologists <laughs> And we put some tobacco down. Look at that, fossilized. That's amazing out here. What a, you can see everything's a fossil out here. So, I mean, you know, clearly like sea plants, fossils, leaves are very popular. I got a fossil leaf back at my camp to show you later. So as you can see, uh, the train is getting uh, a lot bigger and um, well, with bigger stones and everything. These type of stones have a lot of fossils in them. Uh, and so, this right here is so beautiful. stone out and look at this uh, moon rock here <laughs> beautiful right big old moon rock with a little hole there that's kind of cool right look at that that's beautiful perfectly good rock right there it's like getting ready to crack let's see what it looks like when we crack Look at what's in the middle. <laughs> a geome. God, it's gorgeous. Just absolutely gorgeous. Crystal right there. Isn't that fun? Same thing right here. All in between here. There's some in there. sort of stuff right here is uh, really cool too. If you notice fossil this is the coolest little rock with an egg in there. Break it. It's pretty hard to crack, but I bet you something's in there. Really cool stuff. So, all right, I'm gonna do a part three. Show you the striations in the uh, 
uh, in these uh, cliffs. <laughs> so, thanks for tuning in.